Uh, we're running a little late. We'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. We'll start with the pledge to the flag and then a prayer with Commissioner Patton. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we come before you this evening in a humble manner, asking your blessings upon us as we enter to this meeting. Bless each one of us with wisdom and patience that we might conduct the business of this city in a most equitable and fair manner. Father, we're thankful for the blessings you've given to us and the things that you've done for us, the good things that we have in our life. May we always be grateful to you and to the things that we have, never taken for granted. These things and all things we ask in your Son's holy name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Welcome everybody out tonight. Beautiful night, afternoon, day. Spring is finally here and summer's on its way. So, we'll... Okay, first item of business is approval of minutes of previous meetings. Make like a motion to approve minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? It's favor seeing five thigh. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Next is approval of bills. Make a motion to pay the bills. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor seeing five thigh. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. One item under old business is the second reading to amend the alcohol beverage control ordinance. Again, this is where we're making some changes. We're just going back to where we mirror the state once again like we used to do. Make a motion we accept the second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Well, look, can, can, we, can we put with the motion, just go ahead. Uh, and at the end of it, put uh, and, and the motion will be uh, published in summary form. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Have to be put in paper. Yeah, it's got to be published, and, and instead of the publishing. Oh, the whole. Yeah, got, okay. And, and it can be published in summary. Summary. Form. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, I understand okay. what you're saying. You're, I was saying there's something else, and you're thinking of newspapers. I think gotcha. I would have newspaper. Newspaper. Yeah. Too. Did you get that, Kirsty? Okay. Those in favor, signify with aye. Uh -huh. Post same. Motion passes. <coughs> it's the only item we had under old business. Uh, new business. First item: sanitation. <laughs> you might want to leave it till last. Um, Larry, you've done more of the talking, and there's a copy of this ordinance. Was this updated in 2019? Well, it gets updated every time we have the increase or any new language in it. So when the increase on sanitation, it automatically, that's when it shows that it was updated. That was the only thing I did. Gotcha. Yeah. I, that's what I'm thinking because I'm if, I don't know if you guys have had the opportunity to even read over it or not, but it contradicts itself quite a bit. And I think I read it about three times and I still wasn't real positive what, some of it was I read, so I think it certainly needs to be clarified, and then I'll turn it to you, Larry. Uh, when sanitation is <coughs> the uh, sanitation department, to my understanding, uh, every homeowner had the, had the option then to opt out. Uh, there was only two homes, I think, that opted out, and since they have sold their home or are deceased, and their homes have actually come under sanitation. Uh, well, going back and talking with Keith Dale that was here when it, when it was brought on, we had a few apartments come on, one of them being uh, Bobby Likens, Peggy Likens has five units over here on East 2nd Street. So they got on our sanitation and now they're wanting to get off. Uh, and I told her I wasn't for sure that with the language that she could get out. So that's where we're at here is... A regular with all the issues we've had with sanitation, I'd be all in favor of selling a truck and tell everybody they're on their own. I'm done with it. And then let code enforcement take care of it, and they don't. When I read this ordinance, I about halfway felt you know, that way. You try to do something. The more you try to do, the more people want to gripe and complain about it. Uh, I'm about done with it. Just not have sanitation and just let them do their own thing. 
AV, have you had the opportunity to read over this ordinance? No. I didn't get my copy of the well, I, I, I didn't know. We just got it right before we came in. Well, I made a copy, but I thought Kirk just said she put a copy in everybody's box. I don't there remember one in my box. box. On your desk. Yeah, on the desk, but it wasn't on oh, an envelope. Okay. No. okay. I just put no. it on there today. Well, she said she put one on my desk, but I don't know. It's put the paper back on. See, you handed this one. Yeah, I handed her this. That's what I want to hand him was this one. This is the one, because I knew you didn't have one. And Peggy, they contacted... It was shortly after our last meeting, wasn't it? Yes. Because I was thinking we had yes. just met maybe Correct. that same week or something. And so it's been a while, and I suppose they're still waiting. Have you heard back from them? Okay. Um, I'd really like for AV to look over it to what answer. Is the, what is the issue? What She wants to get out of, of not paying the city for garbage pickup, and let's not pick up our garbage. One person? Is it a it's, it's a, it's a five, complex. five complex, or a five unit complex. What's their other option? What is it just on that doing? one unit she or her other rental properties too? Just that one that I'm, that I'm aware of. Okay. She, I, she's wanting, she, you know, when we went to everything had been bagged, now her renters are not bagging everything, they're having to clean the, the waste cans out. And I guess it's a, they're seeing how big a burden it is on them as it was on us. So she's found a company that has a, a dumpster, a toter type of dumpster that'll pick up a toter and dump it, and they want to pick it up. Now there are other people in a city that have the toter guy come in. I know the person from Madisonville used to come in here. If they are, if they are a resident, no. no okay, it was just for businesses? Commercial. It was just for businesses. I didn't know, because I, I had seen the truck out here picking them up before. I didn't know if that was just for businesses. So. Yeah. question is whether she can opt out mm -hmm. whether she can opt out um, what, um, what 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 do we have in place what does the city have in place to ensure that that uh, collection if it's not done by the city is done in a manner that is um, safe and uh, Appropriate and it would be code enforcement would be involved in that if they don't do it right. And that could take several months yeah. of garbage collecting before anything gets done. By the time we go through the process with the NOV and the violations and the citations and the sounds like you might want to order that you would have to have a schedule to pick up anything for anybody that I'll have what company they give it to. Them. Well, of course, the, right? problem, the, the, the problem the problem is you're dealing with trash. Yeah. And and in uh, several months, uh, yeah, be a lot of trash. It can be it can be a huge, a huge issue. Yeah. Um, I, guess, I, I guess what we're wanting to know is the older set that is in front of us. Is this going to let a, a multifamily unit that she has will they let will let her let her back out? <clears throat> She have an alternative option for her trash if she opted out. Uh, she she opted in after years of not being in. And now she wanted to opt out again. Well, I'm I'm this I'm done a cursory reading of this, and I I don't see anything in it that even addresses that. Somebody once they get in, I assume it was intended that that if they stay in, it's part of the. Um, what the city provides and what they what the uh, citizen pays for, but if, if I'm missing it, is there a provision in here that actually? On page sixty four fifty two point zero five, petition for waiver charges. It like I said, it kind of contradicts itself. That's a, the, the A is a provision waive, uh, requesting waiving fan for it, not waiving the service. Right.
Okay, and then look at 52.06B and see if that... Did you say D? B. 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 On page 65. B? Mm-hmm. Well, that's half about them opting in. Right. Yeah, that, that's 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 opting in. There's not a provision in here in which in which they can in which they can opt out. You you would assume that a citizen could determine they don't want a particular city service. Water. I mean, you, you know you. We're, we're technically, you know, do they have the right to, to, to uh, the, the problem with that is that the city does its uh, budgeting and uh, purchases its equipment and, and has its workforce based upon uh, the number of citizens that are involved in, in, in uh, but there's no, it doesn't appear to be a provision in this ordinance that allows an opt out. Yeah, and I think I was using the word, let's see. In B? Maybe it's where they. Do you know when this was written? Because you said that it. Which part? The. The original well, ordinance. It tells you, like right here on the. This one. This one is passed. Oh goodness! In '87. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have to provide those services, but they are based on how many customers we have and how many right. people use it. So the less customers we have, the less we have to spend on that. So. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it is something that would affect our budget. The, pro the problem is, is really not um, whether the customer opts out, the, the resident opts out. From my standpoint, the problem for the city is what replaces it. Mm -hmm. Because they still got the same quantity of garbage. And we have no control. Control is not a good word to use, but we have no... Yeah. Nothing to do, then they can just stack it up in the backyard. That's what I say. And then that's Other than called enforcement, which. And like you say, it would take three months probably or longer to get something done. So look how much garbage over, a, say, a 12 week period would build well, up. And the same comes up because one thing I've not, I'm not ready to present it yet, but been working on with some of the stuff through KLC is uh, I'm not sure that we have an arse thing anywhere requiring a homeowner to have water if you're living in the house. But we need to. Well, isn't there a rule? Isn't there a law, though, that the. Where there's a, there's something about you have to have water in a, in a dwelling with children. Isn't there a law or something? Because there was I'm somebody. I'm not sure on the water. I know there is for sewer. Oh, maybe that was what was sewer then instead of water. Because in a dwelling, they have to have sewer. Yeah, but that's and just we're little things. And we're getting off topic with that. That's little things. If you know, you've got to be careful because it 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 is a safety and a health issue. I think I was maybe reading more into it because I was thinking for the waiver of charges. Well, to me. If I'm saying, hey, you can't charge me for this, or you're not going to charge me for this, or I don't want you to charge me for it, you're not going to pick up my trash. I guess I didn't read it to the point where, yeah, I still want you to pick up my trash, but I'm not going to pay you for it. Well, no. it's, so it's, that's. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, that, is that what 52.05 petition for waiver of charges? Well, that's that's initials. I think that's just for waiver of charges. But the initial implementation of so wasn't it? Huh? That was just that initial implementation. Right, right. And on your code enforcement side, so you're going to get, let's say they follow the trash, you're going to get a notice of violation, you said in 14 days, clean it up. It's not clean, it's going to be You've got seven days to correct it and pay for it. So that's that 21. If you don't, then you get a final order, which is an added citation on top of it. Once that's complete, then you get to the lien process. At that point, if it's, we put a lien on the property, there's no exit point at that point, so the trash is still going to pile up with yep. lien sitting on the property. Well, so it's not, the mayor is right. The issue is not just the, the health and safety 
of the residents living in the multi-family dwelling, it's people that live around them as well, uh, and, and, and access in and out of the area. It's it's uh, mm -hmm. um, the ordinance obviously when it was drafted uh, did not, <laughs> did not did not consider this possibility, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not saying it should have really. Yeah. Uh, Different time in 1987, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Everybody was like, glad to have it. Have it picked up. And I think 52.06b, where it says it is collective, it is to be specifically understood that the city will not undertake unless requested. So I think I'm reading more into that too, because if I have to request it, but you said that it, they had requested it. Is that right? Because they did used to not receive the services, but then they did they, request. They, they did request to receive services when we start picking up. And there's nothing in here that says once you request it, you can opt out at any time. So, no, but it doesn't. So once say, you request the services, you have those services, right? The argument, the obvious argument, is if I have to request something, I can also withdraw the request. That's how I was. Uh, uh, and it clearly doesn't. It clearly doesn't address it, which I think brings up an important issue. It probably ought to address it. it ought, there ought to be something in there that that uh, either says when you opt in, this property stays in. It, it's subject to to city picking it up as part of the city services. Um, or if there's going to be a mechanism for somebody to opt out, they have to petition. They have to go through certain jump through certain hoops in order to be able to establish that they're going to have adequate pickup and that they understand the consequences if it's not adequately picked up. But um, obviously the, the best course is if they opt in, they're in. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and I'm like, you get that paragraph, and I was that's how I was sort of taking it, if I had to request it then do I have that same right to? So do you think that needs to be added, something in there that well, puts your end Well, the problem is if you, if we, do we have a formal request to opt out? Is Just that bar, 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 yeah. Huh? Bar, bar, yes. Nothing, nothing in writing. You know, the, 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 the problem is once, you, once you've got somebody that's actually trying to get out, and if you amend the ordinance, yeah. the, the effective date of the ordinance is gonna be after the request is made. Uh, but I, th I think it does need to be addressed in the ordinance for future purposes, and then it's up to the city to determine whether, for the, uh, under the ordinance we got, whether or not you want to take the position you're, if you're in, you're in uh, or it's not in there, and therefore we're not going to be able to keep somebody from opting out if that's the request. So and I think the next paragraph. We should amend that. I think the next paragraph says due to the difficulty that has arisen in determining who has collection and who doesn't. I think that would be a real possibility if people were allowed to opt out. You know, yeah, because, a, and just, I've got my trash set out in John Doe Sanitation Services picking mine up. Well, and our guys come along and pick it up. You know, it, that's too much to have to keep up with on a, on a garbage route. I think the city's got a very viable argument if, if the city's position is the reason this was drafted in the way it was was if you opt in, you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, because, because, as I say, it, it's not just a safety issue, but city, city budgets, right? it, it hires employees specific for that. Uh, it, it, uh, um, and and it's really and truly just as much of, of public service as water and sewer. Yep. It, it really is. So. And I feel like it really could become a health and safety issue if someone decided to opt out and, like you said, just pile their trash in their backyard. Well, you're allowed six bags of garbage per unit, so you're talking 30 bags of garbage a week times, say, eight weeks. That's 240 bags of garbage piled up down there before they got something done. And I can't, I can't remember where I, I researched it, but if I'm not mistaken, the state of Kentucky has a law that um, each governor's community has to protect the citizens from pestilence. 
So it's a, I mean, that's a number one issue when you come to leaving, you know, trash or anything else. It's not just her that's going to be affected. You know? right. I mean, that, mm -hmm. that affects property value if you have it all sitting, right. at, sitting out and looking nasty. But uh, just, I would think the main issue would be with the safety of the people that, you know, would be around that. And if she is going to choose to opt out, that all, you know, whatever service she chooses to use needs to follow every ordinance that the city has set. So that way we're not liable for the citizens that it would, you know, affect if something got out of place. So that would be something I would bring up to her while she's just with the verbal agreement. Because those fines from the city get pretty it's impossible when you're nice to take you got multiple people. Yeah. Oh, we don't have any rules to go by. No. So do we need to amend them, this yeah. thing? You don't think we need to? Not right do we? I, we don't I need to amend it. I think it needs to be, I think it'd be it needs amend, to. amended in the future. Uh, if, uh, if the city's position, which I think the city can rightfully take the position, is if you opt it in, can't opt you, out. You, you, you can't opt out and then leave it to somebody else to say that, that that's, right. that, that's not allowed. But right now, we're just reading yeah. That's the way we're right. reading it. We've that's never had anybody opt out of their water, have they? No. Yeah, well, I'm afraid we have. That's the problem. I'm <laughs> afraid have? they're just not having their water turned on and living there anyway, yeah, which true. means they're using our sewer for free. But, but in response to what Kevin was saying, when this, when this issue goes away or it's resolved in some way, it would make some sense. Right. Now, I agree, agree with that at some point. Yeah. It needs okay. to be, but not till this issue is resolved. That makes perfect sense to me. Larry, do you want to make the contacts or do you want me to? Okay. If you need me to talk to anybody, I don't mind one bit. Okay, next item for discussion is the KLC safety grant. This is a three thousand dollar match for that person. Yes. This will be a six thousand dollar total. And this will be used for street signage, for barricades, for uh, safety equipment, for support of crime rate goals. We just need to uh, run through the city for approval to apply. Can we get a street sign out here where that one falls down all the time? I've got the lid falls down. <laughs> 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 I'll make a motion. We go ahead and follow through with the ground. Second. Okay. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those favor signify aye. Aye. Post same. Motion passes. Amendment to the 2020 2021 budget. Did you put that on the table as well? We have an amendment of the budget. I, I don't have my copy in front of me. The CARES money has been received. Uh, it, it's under other grants on the general fund. But I think that's on the income side, on the expenditure. Uh, I think on the on the park side, we bought the Boyd property for thirty-five thousand on the expense of the park, and also the fifteen thousand dollars for the Dale property on the general fund side as well. I think there's only three items that we amended. I move to approve the amendment to the budget. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is our Arbor Day resolution. Is that in the packet, Percy? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is part of that Tree City USA. Oh, I've got it. I've seen it. Part of that Tree City USA program we're involved with, and we, need to, we have to have that resolution. Make a motion to approve the resolution recognizing Arbor Day. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, same both aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Please hire. I'd like to present to the council uh, commission uh, new hires that we'd like to hire uh, starting work May the 2nd. Uh, she, it's a female. She has 13 years experience as a certified officer. Uh, her name is uh, Arlena Deshane. Oh. Uh, she started out her law enforcement career here with the Sheriff's Department for four years. And then she left and went to Lexington, uh, not Lexington, Fayette County Sheriff's Department. And she's been there since 2011. 
uh, she has family here, uh, and she's wanting to move back here, and she said she'd like to finish her career here. So I'd like to ask uh, that uh, blessings to go ahead and honor her. Uh, we need that map, Larry? And, yes. Okay. Start at 19, and then after 30 days, uh, customary. Right. Right. She's already been trained with Arnold Center Academy. 90 days, yeah. yeah. She's already trained. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's that's yeah. a plus she's right been, there. She's been certified since. Uh, uh, she's been seven, certified seven, I think. Six, uh, seven. Uh, seven. Okay. I move to approve the hire of the new officer. Second. Second. <laughs> Everybody jumps on that one, don't they? And the strange thing is, I had someone approach me yesterday. I wonder if we were still looking for a police officer. They had a niece moving back from Portland or Seattle or somewhere. Her husband has been a police officer out there for 20 years and looking for something. I'm like, we go for times and couldn't find anybody that even looked halfway ready. Now we get. Well, I might need to keep her around. Tell him to hang around. Do what? I am working on the budget. Oh, well. Yeah. Kind of around a little bit. How soon will they be here? Hang on, hold on for a few months. Get Larry to find a little. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a motion and a second on the hire. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. <clears throat> Passes. Next item is the 2021 22 municipal road aid. That's money from the state that we have to pull into our minutes. 69,238.11. So, where's that compared to last year? It's, it's about down a little bit. But I think last year just over 70, wasn't it? I think it's 72 something, wasn't it? Of course, this comes from the gas tax. I move to approve the 2122 municipal road aid. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is permission to apply for the land and water grant through the state uh, DLG, Department of Local Government. We looked at applying for funds to pave the parking lot and drives at the park. Oh, it is a 50% so match. Uh, of course, we can use in-kind for that as well. But this is something that uh, it would be helpful for several reasons. One, with more people using the walking trails and stuff, especially senior citizens and uh, disabled, it would make it a little easier as far as people getting in and out. I know we've got... Uh, parking disabled parking but sometimes there's not enough of that even though we are beyond the state recommendation for our area but it would just make it easier for people in and out walking and make it access the amphitheater easier for walking uh, and it's something we just it needs to be done eliminate some of the mud and, and issues yes yeah. I make a motion that we apply for this grant second and that's for both areas of exit from the park I'm sorry? Are, are you going to utilize the backside, the exit that you acquired on Bush Road? Probably not with this. That'll probably just be gravel because it's right now it's just service. You talking about the amphitheater or from the? Amphitheater. Okay, yeah, just for service. And we haven't decided what we're going to do with the, the field behind. So it'll just be for what's what you see parking and drives there now. When will that, when will that come up? Well, the application is due by May 1st. It'll be December of 2021 before they make an announcement on who gets it. And after I'm that, descendant of Bob Fan. I'm sorry. I'm the living descendant, youngest living descendant of Bob Fan. And uh, I grew up in a lot of these people's homes that I'm looking at. My teachers, and I grew up here. Real good family. I love this county. But, uh, you know, certain people had to work a little harder to accumulate things, you know, and uh, I would just hope that my family's air property could be, could be remembered uh, while being utilized. Have no problem utilizing it. Lovely. My county has something that we need. We need it, something to bring a tourism attraction. But at the same time, I don't want those people who blood, sweat, and tears went into accumulating that to be forgotten. Okay. Well, this what this would cover would be the the drives and stuff that are already established in the park. So we need to. So we had the motion a second. All in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passed. Next item is the Shutters Venue Grant Program. 
This is one through the federal government, part of their CARES Act, the COVID Act, for venue, only for entertainment venues. Uh, government entity venues do qualify. Uh, we cannot apply till third round, which is a month from now, but they've already gotten the process of going, but we do need to have a motion to approve the city to enter into that grant application. And what did you say that it is exactly? Shuttered? Venues. venues, like the amphitheater is a venue, entertainment venue. Shuttered? What? Shut down, shuttered. It was shut down for the year. <laughs> okay. What would this money be used for, Paul? Just based off the I was top of your head. Well, because I was wondering about the blacktop. Is that going to be with part of the blacktop thing? Or? Probably not. Because I didn't uh, know if it, our, the grant we got would cover all the blacktop. Oh, it, it won't. Yeah. But, but this may free some up to help help with that. This has to be used for. Uh, it can be used for capital construction. So it could, be, it could be if we had to add on another building there or something. Yeah, we could do stuff like that with it. And there's the maximum you can get is 45% of whatever your, make sure I'm telling this right, 45% of your 2019 revenue, gross revenue, is the amount to be based on. Up to, not mm -hmm. that you'll get that. A lot of so people not, your many applications. Hmm? not your potential, what it would have been, or just what it was? What it was no, in what, 2019. 2019. Oh, prior to. That's how they're doing that because. Gotcha. And we've yeah. got most, I think, all, most of our stuff turned most in. Most definitely, then. And like I say, being a government entity, uh, we're not in the first line. It's the ones that are private owned. And some of these funds are split up. I forget how many billion it was in that pot. But some of it goes to museums. Uh, some of it's going to movie theaters, drive-in theaters. Some of it's going to uh, music venues. Some of the things that are limited, like you can't, like, and I don't mean to pick on them, but for an example, the sports center can't qualify for because they have athletics. It has to be entertainment venue. Gotcha. Um, and that's why we qualify All right. through the amphitheater. I think the only other ones I'm aware of around here that would probably qualify, other than movie theaters or something like that, would be the River Park. Might. They're not sure about the convention center because of other stuff they have mm -hmm. there that's... Other than entertainment? Not entertainment, but the River Park, I think, qualifies. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, does Odom Park qualify? Because the Alliance and Owensboro said that it possibly would. No, it's a, it's a venue. In fact, if you have a, uh, like a, a, a bandstand or something in a park, that doesn't even qualify. The only reason they, our amphitheater will is because it's run, it's run through the Tourism Commission, but it's kind of a separate entity in itself. It's not necessarily part of it. it's not opened up to everybody use every day in the park like a grandstand or something would be but it's not it's no parks at all strictly entertainment music and entertainment venues and it tells on the thing it can be music comedian uh, I forget some stage shows live stage performances anything like that but no sports or athletics and it specifies the sports and athletics, which surprised me a little bit because they were kind of hit too. But, but I do need a motion to apply for this. I thought she made a motion, did she not? I thought she did. Did she make a motion on the shutter? Sure. Okay, yeah. I thought she did on the other one. I thought she did on this one. Did yep. Curse, did you have a motion and second on this one, shutter grants? I didn't I think so. I have a motion so. that we apply for. I, I always want to apply for grants. Yeah. So if somebody's going to get the money, I want it to be us. Okay, we have a motion and a second for the shutter grants. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And I'm going to add one more while we're on the grants is the AARP challenge grant. And that deadline for application is later this week. But looking, that's when we're looking forward to do some money for the pickleball. And he got all the bids in today. We got all the bids fixed and, and what it's going to entail, what it's going to include. The only other thing that was recommended to me by one of the people, well, by both people actually, is we could resurface the whole area up there first before we tried to stripe it off and paint it and all that. If my figures are right, we're talking about about a $9,300 asphalt resurfacing for an inch and a half asphalt. And the only reason they wanted it resurfaced is there's dips, there's valleys, and the asphalt is very, very old. It's and probably original. I no, it's it's I early it 70s. At, I'd say at, it's never been surfaced it's been, again. Yeah. It has? It was surfaced oh, once, he, she, he said. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it can be it can be done as is. It won't be the same. But I feel like if we're going to go ahead and, and and it may not it may not take off like it 
is, is they think it's going to, but I've already seen a list of over 40 people that have signed up to play down there. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's quite a bit. And yeah. I will tell Cindy, I haven't had a chance to talk to you, and I apologize. I forgot all about you until I walked in the door just a minute ago. I apologize. I've been talking to Jimmy. But uh, one of the things we talked about was the way our, our court is designed, most tennis courts are, third, are, are, 100 and, are 90 by 120. Ours are 120 by 120. Exactly. And because of that, we can get four pickleball courts, like if this was, if this side of it was where a Cagle's building was, we can get one, two, three, four courts in there easily with a big net down the middle. And then if we have to later on, we could add pickleball, pickleball courts. Or if we don't have a lot of interest in the pickleball courts, we could turn that other half into a basketball court that's, and we can put a full-size basketball court in there because a full-size basketball court is 94 feet. So it's, we've got potential on either end of it. So the bids we got, they're pretty close. The two bids we got were real close, weren't they, Larry? Like within $2,000 maybe? And um, the one bid, though, I know he said that if he did it, he was going to take, because you have to buy so much of it to do it, that he was going to take the excess and redo the basketball courts down here that are already existed. He was going to go ahead and re put a new surface, not a new surface, but a new coating on it. You need a right. motion. And so, okay. yeah. And, right, and we, we, we're, we're getting to those. We're, we're, we're getting, but this, this, you know, like I said, I'm real pleased with what we've come up what with. What was the total? Uh, one was 16 something, the other was 18, wasn't it? And nets are how much? That's net, that's including nets. Oh, seventeen thousand. Well, the nets are eight thousand dollars, wasn't it? But seventeen includes nets. No, I don't think so. I'm not that I forgot. There's both of them there. <laughs> I, thought, Has, I, I thought I forwarded you. You may have, but I've not been there most of the day today. It was sixteen to redo the courts, and then seven thousand for the nets, or eight thousand for the nets. Was that what it was? Yeah, I think it was eight thousand for the nets. That's not to do the center. That's not to do the center. The, the big one. Down the center, yeah. That's not the chain link down the middle. Okay. That's the nets and the other stuff. Right. Oh, I like that one. That didn't come out as high as I thought it would. Did we get three? No, that was something else. Excuse me. Wait, this one right here is 19.5. But does that one include the nets and stuff? He did include they, the nets. Pose See, I didn't think. That's, that's with him painting, painting the cord into different colors. Right, two tone. Two tone. Then, if there was any left, he was going to do the basketball cords, and he th expected there to be some left. We really need to apply for the grant first, right? Well, we have to know how much to apply for. That's that's the thing. Well, that being said, I was talking to Jason with corporate with Walmart again, and wanted to know if. If maybe the city manager or city commissioner has tried to move towards the Walmart nine thousand. As Amy, as Amy, well, Amy was. I guess you're involved in the grant writing now, aren't you? There, there are some discrepancies on. You, you got to have the tax number, and it's run through. Um, Foundation. Yeah, Claude Taylor son. Uh, I can't Eric. Eric. Mm -hmm. So he would have to be the one to go after it through the. The Taylor Foundation. We, we cannot, the city cannot apply for it. Has anyone contacted Eric? Amy has, yes. Amy has. Yeah, I think there's been some time. I thought there was something else they were having trouble getting into. I don't know. It, it was a big mess. I mean, Walmart is trying to sell it that it's easy. Just do that. It's not that easy. It is, it is for a bigger city, but we're not. It we're used not to be pretty easy, but they changed. That's why we quit doing anything with them. We've gotten some money from them before, but it got to be worse. Such a hassle took so long to do it. So do you know what the status of it is right now? I know. I know Amy has spent numerous, numerous hours talking to them, and it, I know she talked to Eric, but it, it's something that they would have to apply for, apply for to get it. It's, it's something that we can't, the city can't. I don't see where it says this includes the nets, though. On which one? On Adams? Allen's. Allen's. See, I didn't think his was including the nets. I thought he was wanting us to get this guy from Lexington to bring do the nets. Let me text him. I'll double check here. The T 
tennis technology from Louisville. He came down and talked to us, and they do that pretty much. That's all they do is tennis courts and pickleball courts. But, but I thought one. I thought he was wanting us to get the nets and the and the everything from the poles from up to Lexington. We wanted the. Uh, the uh, temporary that's we just be removed and I said no we're going stationary and, and, and he said he, he told me today he said I agree it's probably the better, the better set up so. yeah because somebody might steal the nets <laughs> I don't know what they want them for but it amazes me what people steal doesn't it Larry yes, <laughs> yes. now this one from ten, the one in Louisville tennis technology yes it includes the nets well, his base for the surface was 78, 90, and then the nets are another eight. Is that including him painting the quartz off? Grind and clean with blowers, scrapers, brooms, grind an entire surface, remove small bumps and irregularities, install the standard sport master coating system, install two acrylic resurfacer coats, uh, install two color coatings at a rate of half gallon per square yard or 0 0.05 gallons per square yard. Install the plane lines to U.S. APA specifications. Yeah, he did the one over at York Park in Owensboro, and I've been over to see it, and it's really nice. And I talked to the park. guy that was yeah. in charge of doing it, and he said there was a couple things he would change. And when I talked to Jesse, the man from Tennis Technology, he said it wouldn't be no problem to change it. Jesse still thinks it would be the best option to go ahead and resurface it because it just would save in the long Who run. Who would do the $9,300 resurfacing? Scotty's, that's what it is, $78 a ton. Okay, okay, gotcha. I just make sure I was. <coughs> well, the reason I was asking, you're it looking. Be, it could be more than that, it could be less than that, but I'm just right, referencing right, it right. in by how much asphalt. You but know, we're looking at about twenty five to 30000 Yeah. I think I said twenty eight, didn't I? When we were talking earlier in the day, didn't I yeah, say I something so. about twenty eight? Okay. It just gives me some guidance on this on this ARP right. grant because and I think it might give us a really good shot at it because it is. Very stuff for senior citizens, and this is about as specific as you can get. Even though all ages play it, mm -hmm. it's one sport all senior citizens play. So we will need to go ahead and prove this. Prove for the ARP grant. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say five. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Commissioner Jam, do you have anything? No, sir. For once, I'm pretty satisfied. Okay. Sandy? Sanitation was the only thing I had. Charles? Good shape. Oh, I thought you was reaching for a stack. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, no. Okay. I've just got yeah. one thing I want to comment on. I hope this gets on the news somehow. Uh, we had some complaints on the bathrooms down at the park last week, and it is not the fault of the people that work for the city well, I, I, I that clean, clean those things up. It is not their fault when they don't know that they're dirty. It, it, I agree. It's awful what happens to those bathrooms, but you can't put the blame on the city when we don't know it's been messed up until you go down at a certain time and do their normal Or you find it cleaning. on Facebook. Or Everybody you find it on Facebook. Facebook. And who would dream? Yeah. And who would fathom that? It amazes me what people do to the bathrooms down there. They steal the toilet paper. They tear sinks off the wall. They rub feces on the on the walls. On top of that, again, I, I don't several understand. times no one's explained to me yep. why some women think the necessary to stick their hand in the toilet and it's pull it out. It's been the women's restroom the almost every time, which is really surprising. You don't to know me. it was a woman. It could have been a guy. It could have been a guy going in the woman's bathroom. You're correct, but I'm just saying, whatever <laughs> the, the problem is, us. it's not the fault of our workers in the city. Don't be bringing them into it on Facebook and everything. It's not right. Our workers do a great job. I commend them wholeheartedly. When they're told to go clean the bathrooms, they will clean the bathrooms in a heartbeat. And they do not throw a big fit about having to go out there and clean feces off wall. They don't like it. I'm sure nobody would. But they will at least go do it. And you cannot, cannot drag the people through the mud that are not the ones responsible for this. And I just want our workers in the, in the county to know our people do a good job, and they need to be commended. They don't need to be chastised. I'm sorry I had to get on my horse a little bit, but I really felt that need to be said. Be careful. I got in trouble for it. I don't care. Come get me. I'm used to it. Though. I got confronted at eating dinner the other night about it, and it, threw me, it made me so mad I couldn't even eat after that. 
I'm talking about saying, you say what you want to about me, I ran for That's this office, and I'm up front. Kind of you leave the workers, the volunteers, and my family out of it. Larry, you got anything? Yeah, I have a complaint for closed session. Okay, that's all. Yeah. AV, do you have anything for open session? Oh, no, I forgot the Mike? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. John, I know you've got a letter up here. I'll so. be really quick. Because uh, I usually have January. Farmer's market, you have farmer's market. I'm just requesting that we can find some grants and money for the city's or fiscal agent uh, for the CFA is Community Farm Alliance. Uh, Kentucky Double Dollars Grant and the uh, CFA Market Support Grant and the Advertising Grant. The maximum that uh, the match would be on those grants is 3000 and we've never hit that maximum. Uh, that's last year was about 2400 so. Um, and the reason I'm later this time because this comes through the United States Department of Agriculture and comes through the Kentucky Department of Agriculture and everything's been slowed down. So they have just now contacted us and said funds are available. Y'all need to apply. Now, because we need, you know, like the 23rd. So these are the same grants we've applied for for the last four to five years. Yeah. So I um, just want to uh, have that in. In the minutes, okay. I'll we make need, a motion that we apply I, for the grants. We probably need to do each three of them separate. Oh, really? Just I make a motion we apply for the CFA Kentucky Double Dollars Grant 7525 max. Second. Okay. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Post same. I make a motion we apply for the CFFA market or CFA market support market event co ed 50 pitch match. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor say aye. Aye. Post same. And before we go to the other one, Kirsty, do you have the copy of this letter? No. I'll have you. I'll give you mine. And it's got all this stuff on there, so you don't have to worry about it. writing so much. I move to approve the KDA advertising grant. And I'll fill them out and in as quick as possible. All right. We have a mo motion and second. Those in favor, signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Thank you, John. How's it looking this year? Uh, hopefully, it's looking pretty well. We did about 75% of our regular business. Last year. I'm, I'm really happy that you did that much. Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, we were ahead of, of what we'd ever done until the middle of July when they had that second wave of COVID. And things yeah. slowed down from then until about maybe uh, last September 1st of October. And, uh, but our rough customer count, we still drew about 4,400 people uh, to the park last year with our market. So we've got our events uh, scheduled to come back this time. Uh, that's a little bit different than we have in the past, but we've got those grand hammer events. Uh, hopefully, we can have our uh, kids, kids day at the market again, which is a huge mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, That is a big, big one that we have. couldn't have that last year. We couldn't have our farmer's feast last year, uh, farm table event. Uh, so, there'll be a few things that we probably still can't have this year, but uh, uh, we have been drawing between six and 7,000 people during the season. But uh, last year, about, which I, I was surprised we drew that many. Mm -hmm. But out, outside, people even and most of, most of them were really good. Had masks on. We had to put our signage up, just like everybody else did. And, and so, uh, but uh, we considered it a successful year when we did that much. Yeah. Good. With the way the situation was. Very we good. We Tuesdays. Tuesdays weren't open because we had to set everything up, and have wash stations, and have our uh, yeah taped off. So. We went with just Saturdays, and hopefully we can get back with our, some of our Tuesdays this, this year. So. Well, thank you for everything y'all do down there. Well, thank oh, y'all. Thank wait you very a minute. much for the support the city gives. Hang, hang on. Time. Can you all set right now in time to get that library set up? Yeah. Sure. He, he, brought, he brought the pole down stuff, but then we had it marked. No, we haven't got marked. No, we, no, we, we had it marked. You're supposed to brought Debbie down to make sure it was going to be all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big job right there in itself. <laughs> Have you ever got Mark now? No. no. Oh. Like, was Can you? Four. 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 Well, I, we probably didn't even talk about it last year because there wasn't much going on. But I want I want that done because I know she's wanted it done. And anything Miss Debbie wants, I try to take care oh, of accommodate. Yeah. She's done so much work on this. We owe her that. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, call me later. I'll come when you get Mark. Uh, just call me on the cell. I'll come back and look at it. No, excuse me. I'll bring her down. 
Thank you all very much. We appreciate it. I hope we have a good market this year. We hope the weather is good. James took care of me on my garden the other day, so uh, I, I begged him. I used to go to school with him. He came down on his tractor and helped me out. So, yeah. Good deal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cindy, do you have anything? Um, not really, but I was just going to say, is, is there a process where I can get a, approval of some of the money of the folder that I created here to maybe get the handicap swing that the community has kind of been waiting on? Uh, okay. Can you get one of those ordered? Uh, what? The handicap, handicap swing? Handicap swing. Yeah. If you want to. We'll, we can just order. We'll just order one. I don't have how much. I don't even know how much money's in there, but I know Amy will. So. Uh, I think it's like twelve hundred. Is that the kind that's like a platform where a child in a wheelchair can be put on uh, it, or I was more just uh, this one? The, when you pick the child up and put them in. Okay, gotcha. Because the other one you're talking about is thousands of dollars. Gotcha. Yeah. We'll get that ordered. Thank you. How's everything else going? I noticed you had some more. It, I, my timing, you know how I am with time. So that could be one thing. I saw you had some more pictures of some more vandalism down there a month or so ago. Um, yeah, and I think I still have this, the blue color paint in the concession building uh, in out of state. And I'm going to go and paint huh? over it. Well, I, I, I wasn't meaning that. I didn't know what had already been painted over. I just knew. I that, have no problem with it. I just knew that you it. saw it on there, and I hate that. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I I'm saw that too. Yeah. Do you guys have cameras to where you are, are seeing who's doing those bathrooms at the other well, place? You, can't, you can't put a camera up in a bathroom and put it on outside. Right, no, I mean, we have no time. We had no idea when they do it, so you'd, you'd have to guess on who did it. You couldn't know for sure. Right. And there's a little thing called a mask anymore that people wear around. That's really hard to identify anybody. Everything, but well, but, but when the but when the mask comes in handy, <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. They're probably not the ones who's wearing it much, but I bet they had it on that day if they thought there were cameras around. Cindy, I do whenever maybe some more electricity outlets, maybe because even the pickleball guys, we're talking about they'd like to have at least an outlet on that side with the pickleball. So, is there no outlet over there? Uh, there's an outlet on that pole in there, Larry. I don't know. I don't think there is. I thought there was one on the light pole, but so I may be wrong. There's lights so it should be too hard to do. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. be hard to do. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I just assumed there was... It may not be there now, but and I think it was. the concession building is the only one, I think, on the grounds. One. And the top outlet has something stuck in it. <laughs> so, and I know you guys are really good about bringing the port potties in, so, you know, I know it just takes time. It's My parents have been coming and watching the guys play basketball. Yeah. Yeah, two or three times they've talked, guess where we are? And I said, we're, we're at Oldham Park watching the guys play basketball. <laughs> yeah, they and they it. bragged about how polite everyone was there. Yeah. They, it's still... giving them something to do, you know. Because, exactly. you know, my parents are on the go all the time, and COVID shut down a lot of things that they like to do. So they got creative. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, that bring, they said, Larry, I don't know if you can help me again. The lights aren't on the time. Because as I came back from North Carolina, I noticed they were on at like 2 a.m. Huh. Just just stayed on uh, a couple of times this week. I've noticed that, and I had to go and shut it off with the. With the is the timer where somebody can get Cindy? Is the timer where somebody can get to it, or is it? No, it's in the concession building. It is in the concession building. Yeah, I think you guys put a brand new one. In there. Yeah, power. You know, maybe have it reset. Yeah, if yeah. like I say, if power's Nobody off. Nobody else has access in there. Oh, I wouldn't think about power outage. If it's it power, power outage, though, when it got behind two or three hours, Probably. that might be why it's coming on in the middle of the night. I just hate to see it on. And that was good. Point. Well, thank you for that was very good pointing that out. So, okay. All right. Thank you, Cindy. Yep. Would you like to? Here, um, about the uh, alley up here behind my house. Okay. What? What about it? Okay. Uh, I had a complaint. Uh, Keith Dill want me to take my fence down. Complained. Because Keep the, hell. the reason was there a reason you wanted it down? Well, four or five years ago, that's when that fence had been up here. He got mad because I said something about his building up here, and snakes come down there like crazy. And there's a bunch of snakes coming out, so I came down here and, and uh, talked to the code enforcement guy about it. 
So he had to, he had to uh, get rid of that building. So then he, he retaliated. So he's coming at me and want me to take the fence down. Is the fence on his property? Well, no. No, it's, it's on. I, I didn't think so either, but I just. No, it's not. I told him to go home. So the fence crosses the old alley? No, you can look at it. Oh, so it's not even on the alley? Yeah. Well, it's only just, just a foot on the I mean, alley. I don't care that's because we don't use that alley. We don't no. use that. Don't well, we? and you know, but then he's coming at me, you know, over that, because I turned him in over that field. Yeah. And he had, he had to tear it down. Give her a quick claim deed. Well, that's I was going to say, that alley, do we have any? Is there sewer? It's going to go to half, half. No, I know, but. We don't have any sewer. Uh -huh. We don't have any fences on it either. I don't know if there's any power utilities on it or not. Debbie, if, if you would like to have half of that, you, if you're willing to pay the surveying cost and things like that, we'll give you that alley. Yeah. Okay, how much is it? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever the survey Whatever cost the is, the survey it, be, cost. It, it depends on just if they're busy or and not. A, and deed preparation. What happens on, a, on an alley like that, and we've done this before with several of them, state law were set up there, if we've got an alley that we're just going to do away with, half of it goes to the owner on this side of it, and half of it goes to the owner on this side of it. And what we do, if we don't ever, we don't sell it, so to speak. We basically all we ask is the person who's getting the property deeded to them to cover the cost of the surveying and the deed preparation. Any idea, Larry, what that would? No. Might. Who owns the other half? I don't, I don't think that there's no there's no survey work, and it, it just takes that if we own the interest that we're giving it up. Okay. So, it's, but it's not terribly no. expensive. Oh, is not it? Terribly. Who? Is it a city? Is it a city house? Yes. Yeah. It's it's yeah. a, it's, yeah. a, it's, it's, it's been used for 25 years. Here for 30 years. I know who owns the other half. Who's on the property? Charles, Charles Shepard, Keith Dale, and Debbie owns on Broad. Yeah. Broad yeah, according to PBA, right. Barbara Burton owns a lot in there somewhere. We just have to let everybody have yeah. property yeah. connecting it. No. Mm -hmm. All we have to Give do. us a day or two <laughs> on that one yeah. and then get with Larry down here sometime. Okay. So and we'll get that process started. Do we need we to love do? giving up Alex. Well, you know, things been abandoned for years. Oh, no. Forever. Yeah. And, you know, okay. and my pension has been on the line for this apartment building. See you later. He just right. mad and mad. Have fun. Yeah. And, you know, you forget like that when you tell them. Be careful. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, if you give it to Larry, maybe the first of the next week, that'll give us some time to do a little research on it. Well, all we need to do and, okay. and, and contact the other property owners and see if they're willing to do the same. And I remember what it cost when we had, a, we had one done where we lived. The, only, the only one that might not be interested is Shepherds. Well, because uh, is the alley at the top of the retaining wall? Yes. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't close it up until the back of Keith's property because he's still using that alley on the drive. So that portion would have to stay. Well, if it's his. Well, Shepherd would get half of it. Well, let's, let's talk to Shepard and see if he even wants half of it. He may let all of it go to Keith. Because yeah. it won't do him any good on top of that retaining wall for five feet. Yeah. That's why I'm saying if she'll give us a week to kind of find some of that kind of stuff out. Well, because Mr. Shepard's kids going up there, and then there's Keith, then mine's on the other side. Right. I but, just want what I can get from myself and leave for him, leave me alone. Well, and we can, and we can do that too. We yeah. don't have to do the whole thing. But yeah. we're just okay. trying to do a little research. It's, it's, it's easier and cheaper to do it all at one time. <laughs> Well, if, I, that's what I said. If you give us a few days, we will do it. And then we'll just. We need to go ahead and make that in a motion tonight. Do we need to make that in a motion? Or wait till we get the paperwork written up. Yeah, wait till we get the deeds. All right. All right. Anything else? I know we need to go into closed session. I do have one more thing. We're, and I forgot to mention it because I forgot all about it. We've re we're redoing the entryways up at the cemetery. Anybody got ideas on that? I would be more than happy to listen to because we have no idea what we're going to do. We cleaned everything out. It looks tons better, but they're already on us about what are we going to do next? What are we going to? How are we going to fix it? What who, are we going to? Who is? Uh, I know the couple of ladies had approached you about yeah. it. Maybe I'd rather some, not mention names. But can you get some ideas from them? Well, we we actually, uh, Amy actually brought that up to one of them, and they have not come back with anything yet. So. Okay. Yeah, the, one of the main people that we I would think to. anything that's extremely low maintenance but looks nice. Yeah. I'd like to see something. <laughs> Larry's going to kill me. <laughs> Brick and black metal like we're doing everything else. Tie it all in together. 
That's between you and Larry. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I mean, I get okay. it. I understand why you'd want to do it. It does look good like that, but it's, it's you know, it's like anything else. It's just a lot of money. Down at the entrance of Midtown, where that, some would that go in the corners, maybe, where that white fence used to be? Something, is that kind of what you're thinking of? The black? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, well, just like right here. Yeah. We're fixing to do all the patio down here on 2nd Street. Yeah. We've got it a lot of out of the park. Really nice. <laughs> and permanent and no maintenance. Mowing. Oh, well, mow. Repainting every year. Mm -hmm. You paint these every year? I think it was at the amphitheater. Really? Land railings. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Good for you. These here, these here are aluminum, so we don't have to repaint yeah. them. Okay, need a motion going to close session. I make motion going close session. Second. <laughs>